What's up crew? Welcome back to our channel. Jasmine is the only one here today, which is me of course, because G World is actually at the gym right now and what I'm planning on doing is a little beauty related, so that's not really a cup of tea. So it's just going to be me today and what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys me taking out my box braids and that's because box braids are supposed to be a protective style but when you take them out sometimes you could get a lot of breakage if you're not paying attention to exactly what you're doing and being careful so i'm going to show you guys what i do when i take mine out so hopefully you learn a little something first things first don't let your braids get as bad as how i let mine get i was being super lazy but today is the day they finally come out of my head i'm so happy and by the way guys i've never found so many freaking head ties around head ties hair ties around my house at once so i already know this video is about to be lit because i got all these hair ties but as always if you're interested definitely stay tuned all right so basically the only things that i have around me right now that i need for this process hopefully it's not a long process these braids are super long but i can cut them so with that said first thing hair scissors shears whatever you want to call them then I have a little plastic bag so I could throw the braids away and my hair ties that I found a rat tail comb which I actually tried not to really use but I got really thick coarse hair so I might have to use it at some point and then usually when I'm taking down my braids I use coconut oil but I've had a weird allergic reaction to coconut oil lately so I'm just going to be using my kinky curly not today leave-in detangler which I'm kind of mad that I have to use this instead of coconut oil because it's pretty expensive and I feel like I'm about to waste it but anywho let's get started oh shoot and I forgot to tell you too I have my handy dandy little laptop there because I'm watching deadly women as I do this so I could stay entertained as well you guys I mean come on can you see how puffy my hair is? These should have been out a long time ago. Long time ago. The issue is, because usually my braids last a lot longer than they did this time. The issue is, like, this time I decided to take hair vitamin pills while I had these braids in. Not a good idea because it makes it not last as well because the roots get crazy. They get crazy on you. But yeah, first what I'm going to do is go ahead and section my hair so that it's easier to tackle. It's easier to tackle in sections. Usually I just start in the middle so I could keep doing other things. Like if I need to go out, I could just throw it in a ponytail. But you know, today is dedicated to just taking out these braids. So that won't be necessary this time. Hence the pajamas and the no makeup on my face. I'm sorry I'm coming to you all crusty dusty, but hey. The reason why I need a whole day where I could just be at home by myself doing my braid, taking up my braids. Look at how crazy I look already. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start in the back. I really don't advise cutting them too short but with me because as you can see my hair is so puffy outside of it i kind of can see where my hair stops i'm gonna just go a little bit longer than where i see it just to be on the safe side because you know i don't need a trim and this is where my bag comes in handy and now i just oh i almost i just backed the hell out of my face with those braids but now I'm gonna just go ahead and start unraveling each braid. All right, so let me get a little closer for you guys. Just a little bit. All right, try to ignore my pimples and dark marks. But yeah, if you can see, I got quite a lot of buildup right there. So that's what I wanna detangle right now. So that's where I get my expensive ass leave-in conditioner. Put a little teensy bit on my fingers and rub it in because this is very like moisturizing so it's kind of easy to do this without water if I just have that 
And now I'm just finger detangling. And there we go. And I'm going to show you my little shed hair. Because since my hair has been in braids for so long and your hair naturally sheds, it's basically a bunch of shed hair that you're going to take out. So know the difference between shed hair and breakage. Because this is what you want to see. You don't want to break your hair. But this is the point where I might. <laughs> I mean, I'm just keeping it 100% real with y'all. Because I do like to go back and detangle my hair with a rat tail comb. And this is why I do it one at a time instead of taking out a bunch of braids and then going back and detangling. And what am I saying? Detangling? Because this will cause breakage if you're not taking your time and it's easier to take your time if you do one at a time so and you always want to start at the bottom when you braid when you comb your hair there you go and that took out the rest of that build up for me so first off i don't know if you guys are excited as i am about this rihanna fenty beauty launch but i was so excited i stayed up until midnight pacific time which for me because i'm in the eastern side it was three in the morning and i had work the next day so that was nice but um yeah so three in the morning and then when i got on it was such like a big issue with the website it wasn't an issue but i think they only let like a few people on at a time so it told me i had to wait 20 no it told me i had 15 minute wait but that was the estimated time it ended up being 20 something minute wait so i didn't actually get on the site until about 3 30 ish was when i actually ordered what i was getting what i came there for which was the foundation so i was so nervous since i bought it online that the foundation was going to come and it wouldn't match me but um I went to Sephora last night to check out their stand and I tested out the foundation shade that I bought and it does match me so right now I'm just doing that finger detangling again all the way to the end I just told you guys to start at the ends always when you're combing your hair and I did the complete opposite do as I say and not as I do please I think I was so focused on trying to get the build up out the root area that I completely forgot my own rules. I hope this doesn't sound like I'm chewing an apple to you guys because I don't want you thinking I'm, a, I'm out here being a nappy headed. But I pretty much am right now. My God, my hair is so nappy. This is what happens when you don't comb it for how long has it been? Six weeks? had my braids in for six weeks you guys in case you were wondering you guys a bitch is getting inches out here my hair is growing <laughs> you have no idea how much this means to me I want to thank all of my supporters I want to thank God first I'm so sorry God you should have been first because I prayed on some inches for I don't know how long. You guys, I'm really excited. Like, now I don't even know what to do with myself. Now it's about to be turbo speed taking out these braids. About to be turbo speed. You don't even know. I think I should probably get a clip so I could clip my real hair away when I take them out. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'll be back. All right, I grabbed a few banana clips because there's the one that I have in my head right now but yeah because I don't feel like getting back up I'm sitting on the floor right now because the lighting if I sit on my couch and do this would be horrendous so and I don't know if you guys can tell but my ends are pretty like chopped a little because not because I cut it when I was cutting the braid but I actually trimmed my hair right before i put my braids in so i'm glad that they're still looking my ends are still looking pretty good all right so this one does have a lot of build up again so i'm gonna go ahead take a little bit of this on my finger again this stuff is so thick once it's at the bottom you really have to put some elbow grease in that thing
I almost did it again. You guys almost caught me do it again, starting at my roots to comb my hair. I hope you guys can see how very unprofessional I am when I braid my own hair. Because, by the way, I did my own individuals. Because, look at how big this dang section was. The other sections were not this big. <laughs> but, this was in the back, so I'm going to just say that. I'm going to throw that out there. It's in the back where I can't see, so don't judge me. The way my bun is falling right now, it's really itching the hell out of my forehead. I'ma just say that. It might do it doesn't wanna doesn't wanna sit up. Alright, I'ma just let it do its thing. Alright, so I finished the back. I got these two little back sections. I braided it up. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do the middle and then I have the front and a little bun now that's finally off of my face because it's not that heavy. So I won't have an itchy forehead. It's already dry. I don't need it itchy too. But so yep, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing where I cut them down. Let me see. Do a little bit at a time because these shears, I don't want to damage them. I don't think I'm supposed to be cutting stuff so thick with shears. But I'm gonna have to do it anyways. dead right now it fell asleep like four times all right so now that a whole new section is done what I did was I went ran to my bathroom got my little shower comb thought I saw a piece of hair fall off of it I guess not but yes yeah, so because it's a very wide tooth comb so then I use that to just one more time detangle the section and then braid it on up like I did the other two but all right my shoulders really hurt so time to crank these out some more finish this section and work on the last two up here and I shall be done all right y'all so I'm at the front now I'm kind of almost halfway done the front so I'm gonna show you real quick what I did with the front because I don't know if it's because how I do my edges and all this edge, ed, I can't talk edge control that I have like crazy build up on the ones up front. So I'm just gonna show you basically what's going on. Oh my gosh, the way my roots is looking and my edges, this was a disgrace. A disgrace. I don't know why I had these in. And I usually keep my braids in for two months. It was only like six weeks. But again, I think it's because of being on the hair vitamins. But yeah, I know you guys can see this gross mess. Alright, so you can see I have crazy, nasty buildup in the front. It's so gross, you guys. But yes, so, and it's a lot of dandruff trapped up in there too. I do have like a pretty br bad scalp, just in case you didn't know. I get really bad dandruff, so I'm really not surprised that I have so much buildup. But it's definitely a lot worse up front than it was in the middle and the back. But I did take some of that um, um, leave-in conditioner that I was showing you, rubbing it into this right here. Trying to break it down a little bit, make it easier to separate. Because for those of you who never had braids and don't know, that buildup is kind of hard a lot of the time. So you can feel it and know how to sep and know where to separate it. And now I'm going to go ahead and finger detangle. When I finger detangle, I pretty much use my thumb and push forward like that. And then this is the shed hair that I got from that one little section because of all that build up. That's so gross. And like I've been doing with all the other ones, I'm going to go ahead and take this rat tail comb and finish with the detangling. And there we go. It's all out. So, so 
so that you guys aren't bored. Like, I really can't talk today. I don't know why I'm sitting here pretending like I know English. But, <laughs> so you guys aren't bored, I'm going to go ahead and step away from the camera and finish this off. And I'll be back when I'm all done. All right, you guys. So, my hair is finally out. Out of these braids. But so I don't look too crazy, I'm about to put this all in a ponytail because y'all ain't about to catch me slipping. I'm sorry. It's your sexy self. Thank you, baby. Come say hi to the family. He's home, by the way. G-World, the one and only. I don't think you understand. I wanted these out the week after I put them in. Yeah, so I still have to wash my hair because it's filthy as you guys saw when you saw all that build up. Combing it out isn't enough. Now I gotta wash it. But um, yeah, that was really all that there is to it when it comes to taking out these braids. I definitely thank you guys for staying tuned for yet another one of my videos. Even though I was solo dolo today and you didn't see G-World, I know that's what you come for sometimes. Because they love me. But if you have any questions on what I do with my hair after the fact, definitely leave them down below. Maybe I might make another video. Who knows? Um, but I am thinking about doing a video about like the hair products that I use since now I do have that allergy to coconut oil. It was very, 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 very difficult to find hair products without any kind of coconut in it because just about everything has that. But um, yeah, so if you have any suggestions, any questions, anything, leave them down in the comment section below. And if you didn't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We are trying to build our family on up so go ahead and join the wave and get with it or get lost okay don't get lost but <laughs> but until next time we love you peace i said we it is just me today i don't know what is going on because they know i love them too me too <laughs> i don't know why he had to say it with such force don't scream the fuck at all Shit on another note, I got a chick that is hot as another, no one of a combo, she look